Hoover Dam and Glen Canyon Dam to be removed. Critics of the Bureau of Reclamation had a favored slur for the concrete and earthen walls that the federal agency raised across magnificent canyons of the Colorado River watershed, cash register dams. The dig wasn't wrong, especially during the agency's mid-20th century construction spree. For decades, hydroelectric dams in the Colorado River storage project supplied cheap power and a relatively steady revenue stream from electricity sales that helped repay dam construction and operation costs while also subsidizing crop production and settlement of the American West. Today, the cash registers are ringing at much lower decibels. Sapped by a warming climate, the grand reservoirs of the Colorado River are in a two-decade decline, dropping low enough that hydropower from one of the grandest, Lake Powell, may soon be in doubt. The country's second-largest reservoir and a linchpin in the intermountain electric grid, Powell is more dirt than water these days. The reservoir holds just 27% of its full capacity. In April it dropped to a level not witnessed since Glen Canyon Dam was completed nearly six decades ago. Water in Powell is released through turbines in the dam, generating power that electrifies homes, businesses, rural coops, and irrigation pumps across six states and more than 50 Native American tribes. Lake Powell's feeble condition is part of a climate reckoning in the West that links water, ecosystems, food production, and energy generation. A drying climate and withering heat in recent years have pummeled the region, water cuts to farmers, dry wells, mass fish and bird die-offs, and depleted reservoirs that have decimated hydropower output. Glen Canyon Dam is now operating at about 60% of its designed hydroelectric capacity, according to Nick Williams, the Upper Colorado River Basin Power Office Manager for the Bureau of Reclamation. Rated for 1,320 megawatts, Roughly the size of a large fossil fuel plant, the dam is now capable of only 800 megawatts. The failure of Glen Canyon Dam to produce hydropower, in isolation, would be bothersome for energy markets but not a catastrophe. It would raise the cost of electricity for 5 million retail power customers, increase greenhouse gas emissions associated with electricity generation, and eliminate key grid support services that hydropower provides. But a loss of generating capacity at Glen Canyon at the wrong time, in the summer, for instance, when electricity demands are high, combined with other power station outages could contribute to an electric supply contagion, grid strain, and blackouts in the western states, according to a recent reliability assessment from a national energy watchdog. Recognizing this, the Department of the Interior took emergency action last month to throw a life preserver at Lake Powell. The Bureau of Reclamation's parent agency ordered it to hold back more water in the reservoir and at the same time release reinforcement supplies from Flaming Gorge, a smaller reservoir higher in the watershed.